Joining me now, Steve Schmidt, longtime Republican strategist, co-founder of the Lincoln Project. Steve, good to see you. It's been a long time since we've talked. Uh, you are you uh, your organization, mostly conservatives, mostly Republicans, ex-Republicans, uh, people who don't want to see Donald Trump in power in some cases because you think maybe the world could do with a healthy Republican Party and other re uh, for other reasons, maybe because you don't uh, you just don't want Donald Trump around. Uh, what is the appointment of uh, Kamala Harris do for your cause? Well, we know, Ali, now who the ticket is. We know what the contest is. We know what the contours of it are. And we know who the team is that will lead to an American restoration upon the removal of Donald Trump from political power. It is true, as you say, that most of us are former Republicans, worked in Republican campaigns. I left the party some years ago. But the Lincoln Project is an American organization. And as Americans, we're participating in the political process and we're sending out a warning about this illiberal president, about this man who has violated his oath, who has divided the country and has caused incredible damage to one of the great crises in the history of the republic with 162,000 dead Americans through his ineptitude, his incompetence. He is one of the great dangers this country has ever faced. And we are suffering through this great calamity because we have a reality show star in the White House who knows nothing of history, nothing of our traditions, nothing of the ideas and ideals that the country was built around and that we struggle, as Dr. King pointed out, to bend that arc of the moral universe towards justice. And so tonight we see again the promise of the American dream, the daughter of immigrants rising to become the vice presidential nominee of the Democratic Party. We have a lot of work to do in this country, and the Lincoln Project plays a small part in a coalition that's among the broadest and most diverse in America's political history that's coming together to get rid of Donald Trump and to put a decent and good man back into the White House, where the admonition that's inscribed from the prayer that John Adams once said that may only good and wise men live under this roof, that that will be fulfilled once again come noon on January 20th. So it's it's unfair for me to ask you uh, to get inside Donald Trump's head, because, as you said, you were a Republican a long time ago and Donald Trump's a, a different beast. But in July of 2019, Vanity Fair uh, talked to a number of Republican insiders at the time when Kamala Harris was running for president. And they the headline of the article was she's dangerous. GOP insiders fear Kamala could be the next Obama. Now, obviously, this was before she stepped out of the race uh, for the presidency. Uh, but if you're a Republican, if you're Donald Trump in particular, forget Republican, if you're Donald Trump, what are you thinking tonight? You're thinking that you have the best pick that Joe Biden could have picked to help his cause on the ticket. She's a formidable political leader in this country. She's smart. She's quick on her feet. She's articulate. I think Mike Pence is going to have a very, very difficult time in the vice presidential debate. You know, frankly, intellectually, from an eloquence articulation perspective, they're not in the same league with each other. Um, you look at Kamala Harris and the interrogatories from her perch on the committees that she serves, asking questions, holding people to account. She's a prosecutor who's going to be able to go out and prosecute a case against one of the easiest targets there's ever been to prosecute a case against, and that's Donald Trump, because we now have an economic calamity in this country. We have a public health calamity in this country. America is the weakest it has ever been in the post-World War II era in the eyes of both our adversaries and our allies. The country is in a nosedive. Donald Trump has launched a precipitous and dangerous decline of America's influence our esteem that we feel for the country in each other's eyes. He stoked in this country, Ali, a cold civil war. He has Americans at each other's throats. And we have in this ticket American patriots who will have the ability to come together and I think communicate even to the people who will not be voting to them, reminding them that we all, as she said in that announcement speech in January, we all have much more in common than we do in difference in this country. We are Americans. And this is a ticket that's not going to seek to divide us. It's a ticket that's going to seek to unite us. 
And so you'll see a broad coalition from Bernie Sanders to disaffected Republicans who believe in democracy, who believe in the rule of law, who do not believe the president is a king, can't stand the corruption, cannot stand the desecrations that this man has delivered from behind the presidential seal, behind the presidential desk, debasing everything that's good and noble about American government.